Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and I want to share with you my recent trip to Ikea. Always an adventure. It's different than I've ever seen it before, so I'm going to talk about that. But I'm going to review roughly 15 items. So I kind of casually mention some other things that make it more than 15, but I do specifically talk about 15 of the best and the worst that I see going on in Ikea right now for the summer of 2022. Some of these things you cannot find online, but do not despair, you can oftentimes find them on eBay. I sometimes wonder if people don't buy them all out and then sell things on eBay or you can find them on Poshmark, oftentimes. I'm just gonna let the video roll, just a vlog style, and then I'll recap and talk about in more detail the 15 items that showed up on my trip. All right, I haven't been to Ikea in a while, and I thought, time to go see what's going on in Ikea. It's their summer decorating, and I'm gonna take you along. Wow, we're off to a good start. I like this pillow for summer. I feel like it would go really cute with patriotic decor. And they have some good velvet sofas in. Mm. Not the cheapest. That chair is so cute. These have been around for several years, maybe five years. I have this set, and I mean, look at that price. 49 for the table, 35 for the chairs. Really good for patios and porches. I love the collection of three baskets. Oh, and I just have some, such pretty pinks in right now. I wouldn't buy this though. I've had these in green, even though I love the color. They get so wrinkly and these ties just never look that good again. They look kind of cheap. But I have the, the blanket, like the blanket. Okay, really love the velvet chairs going on. These are good. I really like these chairs too. Not that they look comfortable, but The home step and it's $179. Really cute. Very glam. Since we've got Art Deco and kind of a speakeasy feel going on.
have several of these. They feel like lockers. And I do think they're cute. There's bigger ones. This is a small one. Not super cheap, but if you're looking for those type items, might be an idea. I'm not normally a track light girl, but I like these gold ones. And I probably like the price. The barometer line. Well, that's why. I love all the barometer lighting here. So I think, okay, I would not hang with string, but I think that is an interesting idea to fill a wall. Add a couple hooks. And, and I would do really nice ribbon, velvet ribbon or something. But I like the layering. I found the famous spider pillow. Thumbs down. That's creepy. Unless it's Halloween, maybe. I do like the blankets. I think they've jumped in price, but there's this yellow one. There's a red one. There's this plaid one. This would be cute. In a car. College dorm for that. Oh, and a navy. Oh wow, I want all three of these. Pretty soft. All right, I still say get your rugs here. Some really good neutrals and textures. Indoor, outdoor. Yeah, some good rugs. Rug. It's a runner. Look at that great coloring. It's really nice too. Good edging. So I do think these would be a good summer piece. It says it's dark brown, but I would call this black. 129, 130. They are oh made of eucalyptus. Interesting. But it feels really solid, really good for an Adirondack chair. And who would have thought you can get artificial grass here? I think this is a really good solution around a pool when you have chlorine or a lot of shade and flagstone. This is what I would recommend. Okay, so as you can see, we have a good collection of patriotic decor. We've got some good velvet furniture. I feel like that looks more high-end than maybe some of the Ikea pieces. Their pinks game is going strong. Lots of really nice, beautiful pink things. And of course, I found several things for the patio and the pool and the porch. Okay, so let's review. We have the Sissel pillow which is that first pillow we saw that's the jean material. And that one is not on the website, at least not for my local store, but I see I saw it on eBay. So it's the jean pillow, really nice stitching, awesome for summer decor. Then there's the velvet sofa, and you can get that in a sectional. There's two different colors of velvet that I thought were really beautiful. I feel like they were really kind of high-end and would go nicely with like an art deco, room you've got going on or like a 1920s style which I'm getting more and more interested in for people. Then there's the Ask Coleman little patio bistro set which I've had for years. Here's some pictures that of ways that I've styled them. I have four chairs and I have a little table. Really great price point. There is the Aina pillow, and it is really pretty in the store. I'm gonna give that one a thumbs down. I'm only actually talking about three things that I don't like, but this is one of them. 
Looks very nice in the store. I have the green ones here, you can see. But they just got wrinkled really fast and it was all downhill from there. Even when I ironed them, they just looked worn. I couldn't keep them looking crisp and nice. So the pink ones were really cute. If you wanna, if you wanna try it, go for it. I skipped them this time. Oh, P.S. You can find them for ten dollars online on the IKEA website, not seventeen or eighteen, like I saw in the store. Another piece of velvet furniture. I love the tuxedo arms on this chair. The flint salt. Good piece if you're going glam, if you're going Art Deco, anything like that. It's great. This is a great. Fine. The Homesta chairs, I really like these. They're very deep. I mean, I would put lumbar pillow definitely in these chairs. And I showed you the price point without the cushions. The cushions are beautiful, very high-end looking. That's, that's what I want to communicate with these pieces that I do like. They don't look like they're cheap or like Ikea. Sometimes Ikea gets a bad rap for looking cheap. These pieces are really nice. When you add in the cushions though, the price jumps up. It comes to $250. So just know that it's more, but I think you're getting the value out of those cushions. They are made of wood, rattan, and bamboo. Then there was the track light. Okay, I i don't think I've ever really liked track lighting, except for this one. This one had a classic feel to it, and it's the barometer line, which I love their floor lamps. I love the desk lamps. I have several myself. Great line if you need track lighting and great price. Oh gosh, this one. I can't even say the name. It, I'll try. It's Aft Saft Mall. But what you need to know is that we call it the spider pillow. And I've heard about it from other decorators. Actually, looking at it in person, if you looked at the at the clip, it's I think they wanted it to look like little black tassels. But the tassels get all crazy and then it just looks like a creepy spider pillow. So really cute for Halloween actually, but other than that, um, I'm kind of scared. These are the Ekron Mall blankets and I really love, so it comes in blue, navy and this golden yummy yellow color. I was really excited about them. I thought they looked super, super cozy and they're $30 each which is I think a little high. I mean, I've paid anywhere from five to thirty dollars for an IKEA blanket. I bought one. Uh, this is actually a thumbs down, and I'm gonna take it back. I'm sorry. I really wanted to like it. I haven't even taken it, the ribbon off, and it's already shedding so badly. And I'm just afraid it's gonna instantly be collecting stuff in it. And I, I just don't think it's gonna work in my house. Maybe if you have a really clean house with no animals or children, this could work. But the shedding, I'm not sure what you're gonna do about that. I would not get this blanket. But the Frodis one I thought was cute. That's that kind of collegiate look that I said would be really cute in the car. I really like that. I think it would be very good for summer and mixing it in with the classic patriotic look. And per the usual, Ikea's rug game is strong. So I didn't even, I couldn't even like list off how many of there were, but Ikea rugs are, are decent. I, w I will stand by those rugs. I don't know what number we're on, but the homey blanket, homey, <laughs> oh, funny. It's the pink one that I saw towards the end with the pink lanterns hanging. That one was super yummy. I would recommend it. Very, the rugs and that blanket, I feel like, Actually, even the stock photos on the website, IKEA website, don't do it justice. I think they're really nice and really well priced. The pink blanket I just mentioned is not on the website. I don't know if it's too new. Um, so sorry about that. Don't be deceived. It is much nicer than the stock photos. So the Indo, Indo Agra is what it was called, but just this like yummy, beigey, gray with the perfect blue and the perfect pinks and uh, such a cute rug. I don't need it, but please buy it so I can live vicariously through you. Okay, two more. The Cloven Adirondack Chair. So I love Adirondack chairs. I've done posts on them before. I've painted them. And through the years, I'm learning that 
quality is worth it. This one actually looks really quality to me and great price point. I would pay $200 for an Adirondack chair that wasn't going to fall apart in a year or be chipping, you know. So uh, this one actually I thought was plastic when I touched it, but not in a bad way, like a quality vinyl. But technically it's eucalyptus. So there's that. I think they're great chairs for what, $129? And the last is the Runnin' little grass Okay, let me, let's talk about this because it comes with other, they, they click together, right? Like little tiles, but it comes with other products, right? So pieces, so pieces that look like little slats of wood or uh, like a little tile or something. And so you can create basically endless look. You could do stepping stones. You could do like this picture shows like the patio on one side. All those are clicked together that's a product that it puts together so i don't know that that could work for something if you just want to cover it up i mean it's not going to last forever but i feel like it'd be a good solution for some people okay that brings me to the show and tell you already saw the blanket which mm, i'm too i'm not gonna do it too scared and the other thing i got was these five dollars for this set of shell artwork and and you get two I love you. I love using seashells in my summer decor. And then I got some just simple gold frames that I think eh, I think I paid 13 a piece. Little foreshadowing. I got the inspiration. I was just going to do a couple things for this little um, summer tour that I have coming up after this after this video. And I started getting so excited that I'm going to use all of my summer decorations and I'm getting several rooms involved but you're gonna see those how I style those and if you would also like some free artwork I can hook you up with that I give out 12 vintage art prints that's the, that's what you want to um, type in to go to the landing page for that and then I will send it to your inbox so you can get some free artwork that that way that I curated and just to wrap it up, I had heard that IKEA was not really the same, and I do I I do think COVID hit IKEA t hard. Yeah, the shelves were not as full. I was warned. I was told it, it it was like empty or something, but I wouldn't say that. They were not as full, but they are clearly doing the best they can with supply chains and and everything else going on. I saw some prices that I thought were very high, not, not characteristic of Ikea. So I found a little cute watering can. I put it on my Instagram stories, but little cute watering can that I would have back in the day thought would be $5 and it was over 10, 12 or $13. So there's some of that going on, but not everything. I still think it's worth it. I still think you should go and check out some of the things that I talked about here today and give them some support. Just maybe not a spider pillow. <laughs> All right, hey, thanks for watching. And if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. All right, take care, I'll talk to you soon.